I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Man, she's not in speech with nothing around you. Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Cause you got desires. Hey YouTube, it's me, Slay by Jordan. The company we'll be working with today is Curls Queen. Let's get into these goodies. They sent me over this Brazilian Natural Straight Natural Glam set, which is 80 pieces, which is 200 grams. Let's get into it. So what I'm first going to do is color this hair jet black. I'm just taking my Just 5 Jet Black Permanent Hair Color, which all you need is five minutes of processing time, and it's jet black. As you can see, I'm holding the tapes because you don't want to get the color on the tapes, and you don't want to get the tapes part wet before installing so what i'm doing is i'm holding that with one glove making sure i don't get any product on it and i'm just putting the product along the rest of the bundle and i also did leave the gold banding around the bundle of tape ends that way i can make sure i don't get any product or anything on those tapes you cannot get your tapes wet until after you install them you don't want to get any dye any other products none of that let that process for five minutes and then i rinse it out as you can see i'm making sure i'm holding those tapes to make sure they do not get wet. And now I'm just blow drying the hair to make sure it's dry before installing. We don't want the moisture from a wet tape in to revert her natural hair, which is silk pressed and sandwiched in between. Hey, you two. Hey, you two. We What's here with Miss Beautiful Hustler herself. Looking a mess. Gonna get it together. Yes, yeah, so. And this is our natural hair color. Yeah. She does have some color, but we're gonna do some more color. <laughs> Super excited now about to be laid to the dog. Yes, and if you didn't realize by now, we're doing tape ins today, but I'm going to color her hair jet black first. It's Pravana Chroma Silk with a 10 volume. So yeah, let's get into it. So right now I'm just blow drying her hair and I'm going to make sure I blow dry her hair thoroughly using my comb at first and then taking my dimming brush and using my concentrated nozzle on my blow dryer to really get that hair as straight as possible. The key to a good taping installation is a good silk press and the key to a good silk press is an amazing blow dryer. Blow dry that hair as straight as you can get it. So right now, I'm just pressing her out using small sections. I did apply some cheese silk infusion, just a drop, and I made sure I didn't apply it to the roots because you cannot have any oiliness on your roots because the tape ends are basically lace tape. And like with the wig, anything oily will cause the tapes to not stick. So do not put a lot of products on your hair. I only put the cheese silk infusion on her ends just to give her some form of heat protection. But yeah, do not load your hair with products up because your tapes are not gonna stick. And as you can see, she is fully pressed out. I did go ahead and trim her off camera. You'll see that in the end. Um, but yeah, we did give her a trim off camera and now we're about to start the installation of our tapes. So now you're gonna make a part from the middle of the ear all the way across and you're gonna separate the front from the back. And then you'll have your left front piece section and you'll have your right front piece section. And then we're going to get into the back. So now as you can see, I've taken down some hair to cover her tapes. And to make sure that the hair is going to cover the tapes, you take your rat tail comb, put it directly on the scalp and flip the hair on top of it. If you can see the comb, you need to leave out more hair. If you can't see the comb, it's good. So I do that all around that back section to make sure when she pulls her hair up, no tapes are shown whatsoever. And I also separated some hair towards the top of the back section because I want her to be able to have a half up, half down as well. So you just wanna do that all the way around. As you can see, laying that rat tail comb, making sure I can't see it. And that way you know you have enough leave out. Everybody's leave out will be different depending on your length and your density. So some people may need more, some people may need less. Now we're gonna drop our first section. You're gonna take a thin slice, you know, comb it out. And then we're gonna start applying our tapes. And this tool is called a tape in plier. I'll be sure to leave the Amazon link below so you can purchase it. So right now, as you can see, I took that white tip off the tape in and we're gonna place it directly on her hair. Make sure you do not place it directly on the scalp. Do not put it directly on your scalp. You need to drop it down like at least like one or two centimeters. Um, just make sure you don't put it directly on the scalp because if you do, when you go to flip it up and start styling it, it's gonna pull and tuck on the hair and it's gonna be very uncomfortable. So drop it down a little bit from the scalp. 
Then you're gonna flip it over, take your other piece of tape, and you're gonna place it on the bottom, and boom, you have a sandwich. You sandwich the hair together, and you're gonna take your pliers, and you're gonna press down on the hair. You don't necessarily need the pliers, you can always use your hands, or you can use a cold flat iron and just press it down, but I really love the pliers because they really like sandwich their hair together and you know, it makes it secure. I've done tape-ins a couple of times. I've never had any issues of clients saying like they're slipping out or anything. So I highly recommend you get those pliers, but you can just use your bare hands or a flat iron. Make sure if you are using your flat iron that you do not have it cut on high heat because high heat with that glue, you're gonna like literally Stick it to your hair and it's going to be a hot mess when you try to take it out because that glue is going to be like locked to your hair. So don't be using a hot flat iron to secure your tapes. That is so wrong. Do not do that. As you can see, I uh, parted down my next row. We've already applied our tapes. We're flipping it up. We're going to put another tape on the bottom to make our sandwich. So each tape, each sandwich considers a tape on top and a tape on bottom. You have hair in between and that's the tape in. And when you apply the tape on top first, what it does, it automatically grabs hair. And when you flip it up, it's gonna be these little hairs that didn't catch on, but are still trying to. Just go ahead and part those down and get those out the way. You don't need those on the tape. So when you flip it up and you see those hairs that are not on the tape, go ahead and just lay those down with the rest of the hair and then proceed to put your other tape on top and press it down. We are halfway done with the back and I just want to show you how flat and seamless tape ends are. Look at how flat that lays. A sew in, a quick weave could never. Tape ends is definitely going to be the flattest install you will ever have. Tape ends and micro links, the flattest ever. Like, I love it. And as you can see now, I've already did my last two tapes at the top. And once we secure those, we're gonna, you know, just lay the rest of the hair down. Make sure you do leave you some leave out at the top so you'll be able to do a half up, half down. And as you can see, you can't see any tapes. It's seamless, it's flawless, it's everything. 
Now it's time for the front. We're doing the same process like we did in the back. You're gonna take out a section for your leave out and you're gonna test it and make sure it's going to cover your tape side, laying your rat tail comb on the scalp. And if you can see the comb, you need to leave out more hair. And if you can't see the comb, you're ready to go. Now make sure you can't see the comb on the side as well you can't see it in the front too. Because when you pull the hair up in a ponytail, you do not want to see any tapes. And I'm going to be honest, you're not going to put a lot of tapes in the front. Like you may put like three, four or five tapes, maybe six, depending on how much hair you have or how big your head is. You're definitely going to put the majority of the tapes in the back and only a few in the front. So don't be alarmed. Um, and as you can see, I'm leaving out a pretty, a pretty big amount of hair because we want to make sure like none of her tapes are showing. So now we're going to take our thin section. And if you notice too in the front, I laid them at an angle. You don't want to lay them just straight across because when you go to put it in a ponytail, you're going to see like a piece of the tape popping through the ponytail. You want to lay them at an angle. That way when you pull it up in a ponytail, it goes with the natural curvature of the head and you see no tapes. I'm literally dropping gems for you guys. Lay your tapes at an angle in the front. As you can see, it's a little slanted. That way, when you pull it up into a ponytail, you don't see any tapes. If I was to lay that straight across and try to do a straight back slick ponytail, you would definitely see that tape. So, yes, pay attention, y'all. I'm dropping gems, okay? We're going to apply one more tape right here, and then I'm going to show you guys the side part. Because the way I install my tape-ins, you are able to do a middle part, a left side part, a right side part, a half up, half down, and a full ponytail. I give you the ultimate versatility. Pay attention, dropping gems. And this is your side part. As you can see, it's flat and it's seamless. There are no tapes showing. Everything is perfect. So after this, I'm going to part out my leave out for my middle part. And I'm going to part out a leave out to make sure that the hair is covered on the other side of the side part as well. But first, let me show you how flat that is. You can't see any tapes. It's laid. You see I'm laying that comb on her scalp to make sure I have my middle part leave out covered. As you can see, the side part is covered on one side, but now I have to make sure it's covered on the other side as well. You wanna make sure at all times that you have leave out to cover both sides of the tape. As you can see, I'm laying, laying that comb to make sure when her hair is parted in the side part, it's covered as well. I've already sectioned out my middle part leave out, so that's good. So as you can see, I only have a little thin, thin slice to put tape ins on and that's okay. We're gonna put about maybe one or two tapes or it may just only be one. And we're gonna do the process the same. Gonna lay the tape on top, flip it up, take the excess hair down, put the tape on the bottom and sandwich it in. We're on the last tape of her head. As you can see, I am laying it at an angle. I've already explained why I laid it at an angle. That way, when we pull up into the ponytail, it'll be flawless. And like I said, this is the last tape for this size. So I think I only put, let's see, one, two, and then three, four. I only put four tapes, four tape ends on the right side of her head. But mind you, the back has a lot of them. So don't be alarmed when you don't put a lot of tapes in the front. It's okay. Your hair is still going to be full, as you're going to see in the end. Everything is going to be copacetic. Look at that flawless blend. Let me show y'all the side part. Like, I just have to show y'all the versatility. Like, I love tape-ins so much. Like, the pros of tape-ins are it gives you the most versatility and it just looks the most natural. Now, some cons are that if you are natural... 
and your tapings don't match your texture, you're going to be putting a lot of heat on your hair. So for those who love their curl patterns and stuff like that, make sure you get a texture that matches your texture closely. That way you don't have to put so much heat on your hair because if you're putting heat on your hair every day, you will get heat damage. But then you have those naturals who don't care about putting heat on their hair a lot and this just may work better for them. Those who sweat a lot, tape ends may not be for you. All, all that oil and stuff is gonna make that tape loosen up. So you just have to you have to access your options. For those who sweat a lot, I think you would prefer to get micro links. I'm gonna be doing a video on those soon as well. For those who sweat a lot, you definitely wanna get micro links. But for those who are afraid of heat damage and you don't wanna put heat on your hair every day, you wanna get a texture that matches your texture as closely as possible, or you just might wanna leave this style alone. Now I'm showing you the full versatility of this hairstyle. We did our middle part. We're gonna do our side part on this side. We're gonna flip it over to the other side to show you that side part. I think we already showed you the ponytail or we about to show you the ponytail. Girl, I'm getting ahead of myself or either behind of myself, I don't know. But yeah, like it's just, the options are endless. I just love taping so much. As you can see, I'm so excited doing this voiceover, girl. I just love it. I think now we're about to do the ponytail. And as you can see, it's so, flat like oh my god i just love anybody who knows me love i knows i love a flat install and tapings is just gonna always give you that like yeah And now we're gonna pull it up into a bun. As you can see, that hair is so flat, so seamless. Like, this is her hair. What tape is? Period. I really did my big one. Y'all better stop playing with me, Jordan. Period. So right now, I'm just curling her hair. I did layer it off camera. If you wanna see how I layer tape ends, just leave me a comment below. All I do is just follow that natural hair as the guide, and that's just how I do it. But it's better to be seen than explained with my voice, so. If you want to see how I do that, just leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, now I'm just doing some curls with my one inch, no, my 1.25 inch single pass T3 curling iron. And today we did decide to do a side part um, because everybody who gets tape ins always does the middle part, but I wanted to do a side part, you know, do something different, be different, you know. And I'm only gonna show y'all like two curls and then we are gonna do a calm out cause I, I literally curl hair in almost every video. I'm like addicted to curls, <laughs> but yeah. And now we're about to take our pin curls out. As you can see, I just did one swoop on the side. I didn't wanna go crazy with all the baby hairs and stuff. I just wanted a real sleek, polished, natural like look. I'm spraying my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray and we are combing those curls out. Ooh, get into the body, honey. I did not come to play with you all today. I'm, I, I'm sorry, I just did it. Yes, y'all said y'all wanted new content and that's what I'm giving y'all, period. The jet black and the curls is just giving rich bitch hair. Let's do a quick recap. Make sure you check the description box for links on how to purchase these tape ins. I also will have a coupon code below. And I also have my information and all of Curls Queen's information in the description box. I thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.